So what's happening <laughs> in Mississippi, capital M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I? They're having a Senate race. Thad Cochran, who's been in Congress for 42 years, is going up against a Tea Party challenger. And in their primary, nobody got 50% of the vote. <laughs> so now uh, he's going to go up against them again. Here's the guy. Here's the Tea Party challenger. His name is McDaniels, and he's fantastic. <laughs> and it's Mississippi. He's 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 to the right of the current Republican senator in Mississippi. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So here's uh, well here's some of the great stuff that this McDaniel, who by the way won by I think half a percentage point. So he's in the they're gonna have a runoff. He didn't win. He he made the runoff. Yeah. So yeah. He, but he was he had the top he was the top vote getter. Yes. That's yes, what I mean. Of the challenge. So here's the kind of stuff he says. That he's, uh, I, you know, this is the kind of, this, this is, well, let's listen to what he has to say about Democrats. What does a party that supports the homosexual agenda have to say about morals? Hmm. The party of sex on demand, the party of Bill Clinton, the party of Monica Lewinsky, the party of Ted Kennedy. What do they have to say about morals? Why don't we all immigrate south? It's gonna- okay, so what, what? <laughs> It's okay. We don't have to comment on it. I think it's self-evident who this guy is. I think we all know. Yes. Okay. It's sex on demand, by the way. Where, where, where does that happen? I, I've been in San Francisco. It doesn't happen up there. Where, where do you go for the sex on demand? I don't know, but I'm going to start going to Democratic events more often yeah, me if that too. is the case. Sex on demand. How do, the, how do you not win every election? That's your position? Uh, sex on demand. <laughs> yeah. You should win every election if that's what they're really running on. If the Democrats are running on sex on demand. That's their platform? They should nice. run I mean, that's what demand. HBO's built on, right? <laughs> anyway, here we go. Here's what more, more he has to say. Mexico. <laughs> See, Jeremy's with me. You know, I thought a bill can buy a mansion in Mexico. Yeah, so he's not big on immigrants. This is what he feels about yeah, average. Go figure. Yeah, so go figure, right? So here's he says, says more stuff. Do we have to learn Spanish? Yes, we're going to I'm not going. Uh, you'll have to learn just enough to ask where the bathroom is. No, I'm still not going. Banos. Banos, that's what you say. Do you have a sister? How do you say that in Spanish, Jeremy? What about mamacita? Mamacita works. I'm an English-speaking Anglo. I have no idea what it means, actually. But I've said it a few times just for, you know, fun. And I think it basically means, hey, hot mama. Or, you know, you're a fine-looking young thing. Reparations. And my taxes go up. Hey. Oh, so now he's talking about reparations. So now he jumped ahead. And, uh... Somehow they're talking about their people are going to get this, the blacks in America will get reparations, meaning they'll get paid for all the economic disadvantage that we leveled on them through slavery. It would be slavery. It would be direct reparations for slavery. It will never happen. It'll never happen. <laughs> it's it's like one of them. Like even, it should happen, though. It should happen. But even the people who are advocates for it know right. it's not going to happen. It's a symbolic issue. Right. But uh, people like McDaniel love it because they they like to pretend it's a real issue. They like to pretend it's a real issue. So they can say, uh, Blackie's coming for your money. Coming for your money. There you go. Here we go. They pay on taxes. Isn't that sad? Yeah, it's sad. So if he, he said that if he uh, if they do pass reparations, he's going to stop paying taxes. So that's the guy who just might win the Republican nominee for Senate in Mississippi, capital M-I-S. And uh, so to me, this is great, right? I mean, I, I love the Tea Party because we, we had uh, the guys talking about rape last year. Like it was a cool right, thing. Sure. What was his name? Um, oh, I don't even uh, he's still he, it's he, He's still in the legislature there, and I can't remember his name, but he was in, in Missouri. Todd Aiken. Todd Aiken. Oh. So Todd, yeah. So this is going to be another Todd Aiken or or a Mor- Mordon. I remember the guy from Indiana had the sure. same problem. So they're again. So this is going to be, and you know, this guy's against abortion in every situation, and they're just going to ask him about rape at some point, and he's going to have to say something. Oh, and and by the way, he's you know, it's Mississippi. Mississippi. It's Mississippi. Mississippi. It is, it, it is a a very heavy black state. It's not. You're not going up against. Like no one. This yeah, is but, not. This is not Kansas. This is not like some Lily. But White. it is completely Republican dominated legislature. It's a very Republican yes. dominated legislature. There aren't enough blacks to tip the scales. But the the yeah. But there are enough so that it would only take a few swing voters to switch. To well, it. I don't know about that, but we'll see. But when people say the Deep South, I always think Mississippi. No, yeah. I, that's and, what, and, I, we know where they're. I think they have to be. 
53rd in education. You go, Jimmy, there's only 50 states. Well, it doesn't matter. Third, some, yeah, no, somehow no, they no. became 53rd. <laughs> the thing that I think There's is, 50 is, states, right? Yes. Okay. It, the thing that I think <laughs> needs to be pointed out in this is, uh, hey, Republicans, this is what you get for Citizens United. This is what you get for Citizens United. This is, this is a direct result of Citizens United. 